going on everyone welcome back to the channel hope you guys are all having a blessed day today i'm going to be doing a travis scott sneaker collection so basically in this video i'll be ranking every single travis scott sneaker that has released a date in order. As you guys know, if you've been a subscriber, I'm a huge fan of Travis Scott, his music, the sneakers, the clothing and everything. And I try my best to pick all these shoes up for retail. So as you guys can see from behind me, this video is actually gonna consist of these six sneakers. Now I am missing the Jordan 33s, the Jordan 4s and the Jordan 1 high tops. But as I go through the list, I will be integrating those into my ranking as well. This list is basically just based on sneakers that I like most and overall would wear. Starting with my least favorite out of the entire collection, it is definitely the Jordan 33 in that olive green colorway that I mentioned I do not have. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 33 silhouette and it's just not something I'd want in my sneaker collection. So by far, that is my least favorite of the entire pack. And with that said, let's get into my least favorite from the ones that I actually do have. So getting right into it, my least favorite Travis Scott sneaker in my collection has to be these Travis Scott Air Max 270s. Now this is the most recent drop from Travis Scott. Honestly though, I have to admit the comfort on these is really, really good. So if you guys just want to sneakers, you know, wear all the time, this is definitely the choice. It's also one of the cheaper models right now for sure. They're going for about, you know, 400 to a little bit over $500 depending on the size. So if you do want to pick one up, this would probably be a good choice just because it's really comfortable and the price point, although it is really high, it's a lot less than the other ones on this list. So yeah, this is a really nice sneaker. Nonetheless, it's definitely very innovative. Now you do get that stencil pack where you could put a reverse swoosh on it. That's definitely going to make the sneaker look a lot nicer. As you guys know, this uses the Nike React technology with the Air Max 270 model. Overall, I have to say the materials on this are really impressive. He does use a nice array of different materials. Um, this part right here is actually really, really soft. I don't know if many of you guys have seen that, but that is really soft. And then the most surprising thing about the sneaker for me is the midsole area is actually really, really soft as well. Now from the pictures, definitely because of the colorway, it looks like it's gonna be really stiff, but it is not. And as I mentioned, they are a really comfortable pair of sneakers. You do get the Cactus Jack logos all throughout the sneaker as well. So yeah, definitely not a bad shoe, just not really my style. I know a lot of people might really be into this and you know I can't blame you. It is a nice sneaker and a definitely a very eye-catching colorway. However, this has to be the bottom of the list on my Travis Scott sneakers. Once again, that is a Travis Scott Air Max 270. All right, guys, next up on the list, again, we're ranking these from least favorite to most favorite. So next up on the list is going to be the Air Force One in the Cactus Jack slash Fossil colorway. Now, this sneaker, honestly, when it released, I didn't really like it too much. But honestly, whenever I saw it in hand, definitely the details on it are really impressive. And I don't really like the zipper part. So if once I do wear it, I am going to take this part out. I think without the zipper, it's actually a really, really nice sneaker. Definitely a staple in the collection because of the Cactus Jack logos all throughout it. Of course, I have like the Cactus Jack label logos all throughout the sneaker. Nice mixture of materials and different colorways on it. I really love that camo swoosh right there. Of course, you have the nice suede on the back. And just the color contrast all throughout the sneaker is really nice. And then you get a lot of details on these that you don't really see on too many Air Forces. And of course, the gum bottom with the sail outsole. Really, really nice combination right there. The quality on these is really good. The only problem I have with the sneaker is that it is kind of hard to rock in my opinion. Of course, if you wear it with toned down colorways, it'll really make the sneaker pop. But overall, it's not a bad sneaker. The use of materials on it is once again, really impressive. One thing with the Travis Scott line is they really don't cheap out on the different materials they put on it. I feel like they put a lot of thought and a lot of effort to really making all the different things on the sneaker work. And you do get some extra laces with it, which isn't bad. And if you are a fan of the zipper, that's definitely a very innovative design in my opinion. Once again, this Cactus Jack Travis Scott Air Force One is the second to least favorite on my list. This is one of those sneakers I think is really gonna go up in price in about another year. It is definitely a collector's piece, especially if you're a Travis Scott fan. But anyways, this is a Travis Scott Air Force One Cactus Jack Fossil. I'm getting into the third sneaker on my list. We're going to have another Air Force One in the Travis Scott Air Force One in the sale colorway. As you guys know, this actually released in a white colorway as well. But 
I don't have that. They're just really, really similar to me. So I'm just going to rank them together. Even if I had the white one, it would be ranked basically equal to this. I actually like the steel colorway just a little bit more because I think it just goes better with outfits in my opinion. And, and whenever it gets dirty, it's not going to look as dirty as an all white sneaker. They look really, really plain, but you do get a bunch of different swooshes where you could replace this metallic one with. And I think that really made people, you know, fall in love with the sneaker. It's a really simplistic colorway. Again, we do get the Cactus Jack logos speckled in throughout the sneaker. We have the reverse Nike swoosh on the back. Of course, like the full canvas upper, basically. The reason I really can't rank it any higher is just because it's too simple, in my opinion. I feel like I can get a lot of Air Forces that look very, very similar. And I can even create them on, like, basically Nike ID. It just wouldn't come with the replaceable swooshes. However solid colorway definitely very wearable probably the most wearable shoe on this entire list honestly and uh, yeah i mean there's really nothing else to say about this one really clean sneaker but it is definitely going to be third on my list from least to most favorite so if i did have the jordan fours in my collection if you guys know the blue jordan four those would be ranked right after these air forces i just talked about really big fan of the jordan four colorway um i had the opportunity to get them basically retail a long time ago. I just, I don't know why I passed on them back then. I do regret it definitely that they're going for over like seven, $800. But if I did have it on the list, that's where I would place it, would be the Jordan 4 Cactus Jack. Next up on this list, I know this might be a lot of your favorites just because of not only the hype that's surrounding the sneaker right now, but also the price of the sneaker is Pretty much insane next up on my list is going to be the travis scott nike sb dunk i mean what can i say about the sneaker it's really really nice i'm a huge fan of this design i'm a really big fan of bandana prints in general of course we get the rope like laces but you also do get a pair of extra laces with the pink and the black regular laces the details on the sneaker are absolutely amazing. The quality on this shoe is really, really nice. And we get the Cactus Jack logo, Cactus Jack lettering records all throughout the sneaker with the top right there on the tag too. On the back, we do have a pink Nike logo. And on the medial side of the sneaker, we do have that pink Nike swoosh. And I mean, I don't know, Nike, sometimes they execute a shoe perfectly. And I think this, this color, wouldn't work better on an, any other silhouette besides the Nike SB Dunk. Obviously, it would look good, but I don't think it'd look better than this. I think this is a D sneaker to put this color palette on. Beautiful shoe. Now, the only thing I don't like about the sneaker is that once these bandana prints, you know, tear away, you do have the other print underneath, and I'm not a fan of that print at all. I think it absolutely ruins the shoe. These are pretty durable, though, so if you don't rip them up on purpose, and if you're not, like, you know, hardcore skateboarding in these, which I'm pretty sure most people who have these probably aren't, then you're probably good for a long time. But yeah, overall, this is one of my top three favorite Travis Scott sneakers to date, basically. I mean, this might go up in the future. That has happened to my list where I do flip-flop sneakers, of course, after you have them in hand and have them for a long time. In terms of wearing them, I think this is definitely the sneaker you'd probably want to wear most. It is just one of those shoes that is super wearable and definitely will be an eye catcher and get a lot of questions. And yeah, once again, we do have that tan outsole on that white midsole area. It looks really, really nice and goes flows really well with the rest of the sneaker. Really big fan of these. So yeah, definitely third on my list for my favorite Travis Scott sneakers is definitely a Travis Scott Cactus Jack. All right, everyone, now we're down to the top two sneakers. And these two, honestly, I've just been, you know, basically flipping them around constantly day in and day out. You know, one day I like one more, the other day I like the other more. But I think this is where I'm at right now with these. So number two on the list has to be the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Cactus Jack. Uh, let me just say something on the side. Again, I mentioned I don't have the high top of these. But if I did have the high top, I would rank them the same as these. I really can't pick between the high top and the low top. Obviously, the high top silhouette is better. But in my opinion, the low top colorway is actually better. The black and the mocha colorway, I think it just flows better on this than the white and mocha. So if I did have the high top, I would put them equal at number two. But let's talk about this since I have it. We have that infamous reverse swoosh on these Jordan 1s. 
Now, it's just incredible to me that people don't like Jordan 1s in general, but these are reselling for a crazy amount of money right now. It just goes to show how nice the sneaker is and how crazy the Travis Scott hype is. Of course, you with these, you do get a bunch of different laces. I decided to go with the pink ones. The quality on the shoe for a Jordan 1, absolutely incredible. I've worn these a bunch of times and really, all you could see is just the toe box area getting kind of creased up around here. Let me give you guys a close look at this. The leather on that swoosh is butter. The details on the back of the sneaker, very nice. Of course, I have that Cactus Jack branding stamped right in the middle of the medial side. We do have a sale midsole with a dark mocha colored outsole. Of course, Travis Scott branding on the insole of the sneaker. I really can't explain how much I like the sneaker. Once again, in a week, this might be my favorite once again, but definitely right now, number two has to be the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low. We're down to the best Travis Scott sneaker, in my opinion. If you guys look behind me, you could probably already guess what this is going to be. However, let's get right into it. So my personal favorite Travis Scott sneaker and one that I think is going to end up being a lot of people's favorites once his collaborations are all said and done. Honestly, there's really no words to describe the sneaker. Here we have the Jordan 6, Travis Scott's, the Cactus Jack 6s in that olive colorway. If you guys are familiar with your sneakers, you know what this reminds you of. They have a pretty similar colorway to the undefeated fours that people go crazy over. We have that nice olive suede all throughout the sneaker. The details on this is just what sets it apart for me, I think, honestly. We have like that little stash pouch right there. We have the frayed tongue, glow in the dark bottoms on these, if you guys know. We have the Cactus Jack written on the back in a bright red colorway. The infrared Jordan logo on the tongue as well as the lace lock right here. Now these do come with extra laces as well. We do get a pair of black laces and a pair of yellow ones. And with the sneaker itself, we get these olive laces on it. With these, I would definitely leave the olive laces on it. On a louder look, I would say go with these yellow laces. Definitely makes the sneaker pop. But for myself, I'm a huge fan of the olive on olive combo. Um, the reason why I rank this so high is because all of sneakers in general, whenever I see one that's executed like this, I mean, you just gotta put it up there. On top of that, you get glow in the dark bottoms. And basically these were the most expensive Travis Scott sneakers retail wise. And it definitely shows from the amount of detail that's been put into the sneaker. I mean, just really glad I have this in my collection. The quality on these is A1. The details, as I mentioned, insane. Um, really nothing else I could say about the sneaker. Now I know this might not be a lot of people's favorites because it is a bulky shoe. Jordan 6s in general are very bulky sneakers. For myself, I don't mind wearing bulky sneakers at all. And I think these definitely look better on feet. Definitely the prices on these are going to go up. I did make a video where I talked about that like about a month and a half ago. And since then they've gone up pretty much, you know, over a hundred dollars on each size. These did start off over a thousand. I definitely see them going back to a thousand within a year. Yeah, if you guys want these, definitely, definitely, definitely pick these up. I can't express that enough, especially right now. Personally, even though they're really expensive, I think they are going for the low right now compared to what they will be going for in the future. Kind of like what's happening with the Jordan 1 highs right now and a lot of these other sneakers that have been out for a while now. Once again, guys, this is my favorite Travis Scott collaboration right here the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6 in that olive suede colorway. Well, that's about it for my list, guys. Let me know your list in the comment below. I really wanna hear everyone's opinion on this. I do, you know, switch this list around just depending on the moment, honestly. Sometimes I just feel one sneaker more than the other. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please comment your list. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.